We're at Lesson 1D now. We're going to be comparing, ordering, and grouping. We can compare numbers by seeing which digits are greater, by seeing which number has the most digits, and understanding place values. We write the number comparisons using an equal sign to show the numbers have the same value, like 5 equals 5. We can use a greater than sign, that's this right here, to show the number on the left is greater than the number on the right. 5 is greater than 4. We can use a less than sign to show the number on the left is less than the number on the right. 5 is less than 6. And we can put numbers in size order from greatest to least or from least to greatest by comparing the value of the digits and how many digits there are. So here I've got these three numbers and to compare them we look, there's a 3 in the hundreds place, a 9 in the tens place, and an 8 in the ones place. What's well, a 9 in the tens place? This is going to be the middle number because this has an 8 in the tens place, so that's the smallest number. And this one has four digits, these only have three, so that's the largest number. And we can put these numbers in order from greatest to least. This would be the greatest one, 3,098, and the next least would be 398, and then the least would be 389. See? We can put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Now we have the 389 in the front because it's the least. Then we have the 398. Then we have the 3098 because that's the greatest. Knowing how to compare numbers can help us find the range that contains a certain number. A range is a spread between the lowest number and the highest number in a list of data. So here we've got this. The students taking swimming lessons range in age from 3 years old to 80 years old. And then we've got all the classes for the different age groups. So which class should each student enroll in? So here is the ages. Class A is 3 to 7 years old. This is 8 to 12 years old. Class C is 13 to 17. This one is 18 to 60. And then Class E is 60 plus. So that's like for seniors, right? So Dave is 65 years old. Which class should he be in? Well, 65 is greater than 60. That would be the 60 plus, wouldn't it? So he would be in E. Emma is nine years old. Which class should she be in? Well, nine falls in between eight and 12, doesn't it? So she would be in class B. Lisa is 38 years old. Which class would she be in? She'd be in this one, wouldn't she, between the 18 and 60-year-olds? So she's in D. And Tala is 16 years old. So where would Tala be? She would be in Class C with the teenagers here, wouldn't she? Walter is 73 years old. Where would Walter be? At 73 years old, he would be in this one with the seniors in the 60-plus, wouldn't he? So he would be in E with Dave. And... Tim is 31 years old. Where would Tim be? Where would a 31-year-old be in the swimming class? He'd be in D also, wouldn't he? Because that's 18 to 60 years old, and the 31 falls in that range, doesn't it? So he would be in D. So you're going to have problems like this on the test, and you want to make sure that you can analyze the data that's given to you and answer the questions appropriately, okay? All right, so... Now we can compare these numbers and write a less than, greater than, or equal to between the numbers. So to compare this number to this number, the first thing we do is we look at the hundreds. Well, they both have a four in the hundreds place, don't they? But look at the tens place. This is a seven in the tens place, and that only has a one. So we started on the left with the largest place value, because they were the same, we move to the next place value. There's a 7, there's a 1, so this one's greater, isn't it? So, there's a rule I use in grade school. It's big mouth to big number. So this is the bigger number. The big mouth 
is facing that bigger number, okay? Now look, we have these two numbers. Is, it, is this one less than, greater than, or equal to this number? They both have 100,000. They both have a 4 in the 10,000s place. They both have an 8 in the 1,000s place. But look at the 100s place. This one only has a 2 in the 100s place. This one has a 6. So if you look at this carefully, it looks like they've got the same type of digits, a 2, a 6, and a 5, a 2, a 6, and a 5, but they're in different places. So this 100s place has a 2. That 100s place has a 6. So that's the greater number. And the big mouth faces the big number. So 148,265 is less than 148,652. See? So just keep remembering that this big mouth faces the big number. Okay? Now we have these two numbers. Comparing the hundred thousands place, they both have a 3. The ten thousands place, they both have a 7. The 1,000s place, they both have a 3. And look, they both have a 408. So, it's equal. They're equal to each other. They're the same. All right? And we can read a chart and compare numbers. Here's some data usage minutes for someone. They used this many in September, this many in October, this many in November, and this many in December. So, which month had the least? Well, they all have a 5 in the 1,000s place. So we're looking for the least. This one has a 2 in the 100s place. This one has a 3, so that's bigger. This one has a 2 in the 100s place. So now we have to move to the 10s place. See, this has a 3, so that's bigger. So it's between September and November to be the least. They both have a 5. They both have a 2. Now we look at the 10s place. This has a 6 in the 10s place. That has a 4 in the 10s place. So, which month had the least? The one that had the four in the tens place, the smaller number, November. So, which month had the most? They all have five. So, we know it's going to be the one with the three in the hundreds place, right? Because that's bigger than a two. And we look at the tens place, this has a five, and that has a nine. So, that is greater because it has... Even though they have the same in the thousands and hundreds place, this has more in the tens place. So December would be the one with the most data usage minutes. Maybe because of the holidays, they talk to their family more, huh? Okay, now it says arrange the data usage. Oh, I spelled usage wrong, didn't I? Arrange the data usage minutes in order from lowest to highest. Well, we know the lowest one right away because we just answered that, didn't we? We can use our previous answers to help us answer the other ones. So we've already done that work. That'll help us save time during the test, wouldn't it? So we know the least is November, and we're supposed to start with the lowest, so we know November goes here. And we also know the highest is December, so we can put that here. That'll save us some time, right? Pardon my writing. I have a bad arm. Okay. Now we need to figure out these two middle ones. So we can even take our pencil and say, okay, we did this one and we did this one. It's in between these two. And because we're going from lowest to highest, we need to find the lowest and then the highest. Look, this has got a two in the hundreds place. So that's going to be the next one, September. This one's bigger. So we know September is going to go here. And that means October is going to go here. See? Okay? Now you should be ready to do the GED skill focus on page 37. I want you to think that this symbol... For less than, you can remember which is which, because a lot of people get confused, which is greater than, which is less than. Remember that this symbol for less than kind of looks like it's a slanted L, doesn't it? If I turn my camera, it looks like you can write less than. So you know that's the less than symbol, because it can you can kind of write less than, can't you? It's like an L. 
If I turn it, it looks like the less than symbol. See that? So you should always be able to remember that. And just remember that the big mouth faces the big number, okay? Our next video is going to be word problems and choosing the operation. It's going to be lesson 1E. If you need more help, there are a lot of links in this description. If you want to really make sure you understand this lesson and you need more help or you do the skill focus page and you're not doing very well, you can watch this video again or click on the description and watch these videos. This grade three one is going to tell you all about bar graphs and line graphs. This grade four list of videos is going to tell you about comparing numbers with addition and subtraction and uh, place value. Okay? So there's lots of help available at your fingertips. It's up to you whether you're going to use it or not. Okay? All right. I hope you're doing well. Keep plugging. Keep your grit. Don't let anything stop you. I'll see you next video. Bye.